morning guys so it's currently 8 30 we're running a little bit late um plus he needs to be at school at 8 30. hi hi put your coat on so yeah i decided to do a sort of like daily vlog um it's probably not the best day to do a daily vlog because my son does have a half day today but um yeah you'll get to see how i spend my days when my son has a half a day and I have five packages coming in the mail today. Um, that's coming with UPS. I don't know if there's anything coming with USPS. Come on. Mommy. The, hello. Your coat, your hat is here. Let me take your hat out. Come on. Mommy. You're running late. Yes. I don't want you to take no videos anymore. Um, well, sorry about that. But yeah, I'm gonna come back once I get in the house. It should take me like five, ten minutes because the school is literally like out the door across the street. So, yeah, we're gonna run across the street to the school and I'm gonna come back and... I'm going to get some work done because I do have to work on the newsletter. I was supposed to do that last night for church. Didn't do it. So I need to do that because it normally goes out at 9. I'm probably just going to have it scheduled for 10. Yes. So um, I'll be back in about 5-10 minutes. Alright guys, so I'm back home. It's 8.40. I'm turning off my Bluetooth. Okay. So I'm turning off my headphones. It's 8.40. Well, it's 8.41 now. Um, and I have a lot of things to do for today. So... And my son has a half a day. And pay my hand on mine. It's, it's like really, I don't know. I don't. <laughs> this is why I've been wearing buns and whatnot. Um, I do have a hair appointment for Saturday, which is kind of crazy because I was supposed to go to my son's father's house, but I have a meeting to do, and I have a hair appointment, so that's probably not gonna happen. But I need to take some book photos today. I finished this beauty. Did not post it yet on the Instagram, so I need to do that and write my review because thoughts, feelings. Um, so this is book four, the final book in Cities of Refuge. Loved it so much, but I have to do that. I also have a stack of books. <laughs> so this is a stack of books here, and then the books back here that are stacked up on top. It starts like right here. So from here up, these are my Christian books, and then these are like my secular books. Um, these top three are going to be middle grade books. So, and I have five packages coming in the mail that I know of. So I'm going to currently make me some coffee and um, get that going. I'm also have to edit a very long six hour video. <laughs> my reading vlog for um the book that i just read which is like a flame in the night you guys um it's six hours i'm not even joking it's broken up into four days so four days six hour long video it's not really that long it's probably like half of that because a lot of the footage is me reading so i have to edit that video and i need to make all these these damn things stop beeping where, where is the stick at i don't know but um, I'm going to make some coffee right now and um, come back to you guys. All right. So I get you now. I'm about to make me some of this. This is the latte. This is the Maxwell House International Vanilla Caramel Latte. I've been drinking this as well as the French Vanilla Cafe a lot. They're so good. Um, on top of my normal, you know, pumpkin spice tea. But I just I feel like a latte this morning so it's literally just a powder product so let me just powder and it says to take two tablespoons so that's what I do the mug I'm using today is my reading is sexy mug but it's a clear one so you can't see it but it has foiling on it so we're gonna go with that so I'm taking two scoops one Six sugar cubes. Two, four, six. Getting one of my um, teaspoons. Okay, I don't know if that's enough water. No. So I'm gonna have to restart. Um well that might be enough. We'll see. Yes, that's actually enough. 
Okay. That was an awful one. Um, so here it is. And I'm just going to stir. I'm going to throw a little bit of... my creamer, the crunch vanilla, and then we'll be done. So let me grab that. Boom. A little bit of this. Like, I mean a little bit, not a lot, because I don't want it to get too cold. I mean, too warm. But, there we go. Let me see. Don't throw another. I only like to do three. Today I did two, but we're gonna do one more. There we go. And try to get that stirred in there. Okay guys, so it is 8.51 right now. I'm getting ready to do some work. Um, so I'm going to, I've been loving this app for some reason. This app is like so fun. Um, and it keeps me focused. Um, and it doesn't allow me to open other apps on my phone. I'm going to put my remote here. Um, while I'm working, I'm going to be listening to the music from, um, what is his name? <laughs> I'm going to do this for 30 minutes. I'm going to be listening to Todd Delaney's Back to the Book EP. Um, it's only three songs on there. There's Proverbs 3, Tablet of Your Heart, Psalms 18, and Psalms 23 as well. And those are some beautiful songs. They're literally him singing scripture. Um, I stumbled across it, oddly enough, and I've been enjoying it since. So, I have my coffee for the morning, which is the vanilla, vanilla caramel latte. And my mug reading is sexy. Um, I have my to-do list from yesterday. <laughs> oh, these are flashcards. I don't remember. I think I googled these, um, and found them, but they're flashcards I do with my son on the armor of God. So there's like six images, which are the sword, the breastplate, the shield, the belt, um, the, the gospel of peace, the shoes, and the helmet. And then you also have the words that go with it. And we typically try to do it every day. We have been slacking on it, so I need to pick up back with it. But I do want him to learn and um, really remember the armor of God. So we do this almost every day. Like I said, we've been slacking. I've, I've been slacking on a lot of things. <laughs> yeah. Um, as you can see, the Gospel of John has not even continued yet. So pray my strength is all I'm going to say. But um, I have my to-do list here. This was from yesterday. Um, I just didn't do four items, so I'm going to be working on those today. And um, I have my Adele Bible Teacher um, booklet for Sunday School. This is from Union Gospel Press. I did a video on them. I noticed that they have gone up on their prices and they don't offer the sample kit anymore. So, yeah. So, if you have been looking into the sample kit, they don't offer it anymore. So, unfortunately, I apologize about that. Um, but I'm actually going to contact them and see if you could, like, email them for that. But um, I just got mine in the mail. This is for March. Um, they used to be three fifty. They have gone up on the prices, so this one is four fifty now. Um, it doesn't bother me like at all. I think it's great what they do, and they do have the ebook versions for Kindle, um, as well as iBooks and Kobo. But I got the physical one, and I need to um, prepare the newsletter with this because I always mention what the Sunday school lesson will be for this coming semester. So this is a spring quarter, so I'm going to be updating that. I also want to update some images. I have to post on the Facebook page today, so <laughs> pray for me, but we're going to do it. Um, like I said, I have to edit this video that's like mad long that I don't really want to do, but I'm going to do it because I want to get this reading vlog up for next week. 
this person just keeps trying to add me on Facebook and it's irritating me because I don't really want to add them and they just don't understand and don't want to leave me alone and it's pissing me off. I'm about to be like a little kid and go get my mama. <laughs> like, you ever had that person that irritated you and you just did not want to communicate with them? So, that's how I feel. And this is like a person I didn't care for when I was younger. Like, I didn't, I, I, I wasn't cool with you when I was younger. So, why do I want to talk to you now? Maybe it's just me. I don't know. I don't know if any of you are like that, but. I didn't like you then. Why would I like you now? But again, maybe that's just me. Um. <laughs> I literally have all these clips and I'm just like, why do I talk so much? But I know that you guys enjoy it when I do. Like, I don't, I, I talk a lot. I can talk a lot. I can write a lot. Um, so yeah. And I'm sitting here doing this because I want to be able to like edit this later. Um, but I'm going to edit this at a separate time. I haven't watched my anime in a minute either. I need to get up on my day today. Alright, yeah, this needs to be a thousand. Make it twelve. Nope. Fifteen. No. Two? Okay. Two thousand. All right, so day one is literally an hour long. I'm gonna have to edit some stuff out. <laughs> literally, just day one is an hour long of footage. Help me. <laughs> All right. Um. So newsletter. I'm gonna open this up and <coughs> work for thirty minutes. Okay. So. 30 minutes, I'm going to plant a tree. Boom. Alrighty, so I completed numbers officially. Um, 33 to 36, right? 33 to 36, yes. Um, so here's what it looks like. All the brown you see are locations, and they were doing a lot of traveling. And I think that's important because um, they traveled a lot from place to place, from point A to point B to point C, just to get to point Z. So um, it just reminds me that just because God promised something to me, I still have a long journey to go through. Be it point A to point E or point A to point Z. It's still to the promise. So that just is, is what it reminds me of. Um, same thing with um, 34. And then 35 really just goes into the whole cities of refuge, which is something that I know about. So I highlighted some things. And then 36 as well is all about the inheritance of the inheritance of a female and how um if the son if the father has no sons and he has no relatives um male relatives to give his inheritance to but he has daughters his inheritance is to be split between his daughters but his daughters are to marry within the tribe of the father which i think is interesting so yes i start deuteronomy tomorrow
yes um i did not do mark 9 and 10 like i said i'll do that later on this evening but complete it um on my computer right now i'm getting ready to upload onto my church's in facebook page right now um so we have that i'm also training my sister to read more um she asked me how she can learn to read more or if it's possible to be trained so i told her that it, it's, it's really easy to learn to read more it, it's easy to learn to read and then to read more um it's just all about you training yourself so i'm basically training her by reading one chapter a day of her favorite book right now she's reading smile by this person here um, it's a it's a graphic novel. It's a cute graphic novel. I've read it, so I have her reading a chapter a day just to get her back into the habit of getting into reading by reading one of her favorite books. And then once she's in a habit of reading a chapter a day, I'll then move on to an actual book with words and um, get her into reading a certain set of pages a day, um, just to get her going. So that was a shocker for me today, but we have that. So we're going to move on to doing my prayer wall so um just some stuff that i have so i have some index cards just plain old index cards now these index cards are super huge <laughs> let me show you they're huge um so what i did was i took these and i got these from my local discount store a while ago but i took those and then i just cut them i tried to cut them in half but they're not all equal so that's fine so i have those i have some of these uh project cards that i got from me and my big ideas are simple sim similar to project life cards but um i just have a small one that i use in my planner and then three larger ones this one just says love 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 you this one says you and me and then this one says you are my sunshine so i have those and then i have these five from the actual delilah boxes so i have this one i think came in the first one here is Galatians 6 and 9. This one is 1 Corinthians 13. Um, this one here is Philippians 3.12. This one just says, Lord, if it's not your will, let it slip through my grasp and give me the peace not to worry about it. It's from Tony A. Gaskin Jr. And then this one is um, Luke 1, 31 to 33. Jesus is the reason for the season. Christmas one, but I'm still going to use it. So these are the materials that I have. Mm. You need a pen, obviously, right? <laughs> so I'm going to grab a pen. Um, I'm going to use my uh, Pilot G2 pen. You can get creative with it. Um, use highlighters and markers and all that. I want to keep this as simple as possible. Um, if I use markers, let me grab them. If I use markers, all of my writing utensils are in here. So, well, I'm trying to figure out where I put my markers. I don't want to use a Sharpie. I might use Sharpie on the postcards, but, um, I really don't know where the markers are. Are they on this side? No. Maybe I'm, I'm bugging. They are on this side, okay. So, I have my Paper Make Ink, Paper Make Ink Joy Flare, Ink Joy, the Paper Make Flare pens, and then I have my Sharpies and colors here, um, and then on this side, I have some colorful gel pens, so we have that to work with. Um, I will be using a few booklets, so I have this book here, it's the Little Promises, Hope, Encouragement from um, Our Daily Bread. I also have, trying to grab it, this here, which is 180 Prayers for Women um, of God. I also have... Where is it? Here it is. These two things. That I all, I picked these up from Walmart. They're prayers to share. Basically, you rip a prayer out and send it. And I will be using these in packages and stuff. I actually forgot about these. Um, but this one is um, prayers for joy. And then this one is the Bible promises. I will be sticking a few of these on my prayer wall. And they basically look like this. They have prayers on them. But on the back of them, they have um, blank paper so i would keep this on the front and then i'll be able to flip it over to see the prayers um same thing with this one same sort of deal so we have these that i'm going to be utilizing to craft that also will be utilizing where is it oh it's over here so i finished the weight and there is a prayer there's one prayer specifically in here for lust um and i want to put that on my wall so it's the prayer for lust um or it's called the lost prayer and it's basically just to pray that god helps you um overcome 
the uh, spirit of lust and I thought it was really powerful um, specifically there was a line it said you made me sexual but give me the tools to manage the sexuality in a way that pleases you um, and I think that's important for me um, if you guys don't know I am working on celibacy right now I've been with my son's father for about eight years um, we got together back in 2012 and then we had our son in 2014 so we were only together for like a year and not even a year a few months before I got pregnant um, and then you know, sex for me was normal. It was not nothing bad. It wasn't until maybe 2015 that I started to feel a change, um, like a huge change in how I saw sex. And it wasn't until, is this 2020, about 2017, 2018 that I felt the Lord calling me to stop. Um, and of course we, I wouldn't do it for months and then I would backslide, um, so I'm I'm working on that. I really want to remain celibate until I'm married, especially because I truly believe that he's the one that God called me to. But there's also some things that we need to work on before we're married. And I know that someone posted a comment before saying that um we should just get married. Um, but here's the thing. As much as we love each other, we don't want to rush into a marriage that's not gonna be healthy. Um and God gives you wisdom in doing that <laughs> and in preparing for marriage. And the thing is, we never really dated um, with a purpose. We just dated because that was, you know, dating was what you did. You dated somebody. <laughs> so um, we realized two years ago that we didn't really date with a purpose. And I also want to keep God in the center of our relationship. So um, reading this really helped me to get a perspective on a lot of things as far as like the waiting process. Because I can rush into a marriage, but God is not calling me to rush into the marriage. And that's the thing. I'm, I'm listening to the... The, the spirit and leading me within my relationship right now because before like i said if this was up to us we would have been married back in 2015 2012 2015 we we're supposed to get married and then push it to 2012 and then things just were things were not aligning and when things don't align according to god's timing and, and according to his will then obviously you're not supposed to rush it um and I've come to the realization that I can't rush it as much as I want it to happen. And we both want to be married. We both want to be together. But there are a lot of things that the Lord needs to work on within us individually and within our relationship. And um, I'm not going to rush it for the sake of other people. Um, I'm going to listen to God and what he's telling me to do. God has been telling me to wait. Um, and I can't rush that. And in my waiting, I'm seeing a lot of personal growth and I'm seeing a lot of growth within our relationship. So um, it's amazing. It's honestly, it's it's annoying. I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's, it's annoying, but um, it's amazing. And there was once a time when I felt like once he got his own place, I could move in with him, but now I've grown so much that I'm just like, I don't even want to live with him until I'm married. So, um, as much as it irritates me sometimes, and as much as I desire to be married and to live with him and to be a family in a household together, I'm not going to rush that for the simple fact of my age or you know, people pressuring me to do it. It's not going to happen. And one thing I love is that my mother and my family, as well as my church family, my, my leaders, I call them my parents. My bishop is like my dad to me. And then my first lady is like my second mom. They are not rushing me either. They're telling me to uh, to listen to the Lord. And um, I'm doing this the right way. Now, I know I'm saying I'm doing this the right way. And somebody's probably going to comment like, no, you didn't do it the right way. No, I didn't do it the right way. But keep in mind how I grew up. And what I believed and my beliefs are were very different at that time. I thought sex was normal. I was sex was normal to me. It wasn't anything bad. I knew what the word of God said, but I didn't fully understand it and no one was teaching me exactly why you shouldn't have sex out of marriage. Sex felt good, so I did it. Um so it is what it is. And um as our relationship has progressed, I've noticed that, you know, we really didn't have a we had a foundation, but it wasn't based on anything um I don't I don't know how to word it because I don't want it to sound bad. Um, but our relationship was mainly focused around sex, basically. Um, and not that that was a, I don't want to say that either. I, I don't know how to explain it, but basically the foundation was sex for us. That was a normal thing. That was like a daily thing for us. It was normal. Um, but the Lord has been working on me, and it just you know I don't want to do things out of alignment anymore. Um, and so far we've been really good with that. Um, we've been really good. Uh, and. You know, it, it's, it's hard. It's it's hard, especially because it was a normal thing for us in our relationship. But um, he stays busy. I stay busy. I try to keep to a minimum the type of books that I read. Um, you guys know I read my secular books and I read romance books. So it, it is what it is. I don't read the erotic romances as much as I used to. Um, I probably read them every blue moon. 
um, but I still read my contemporary romances, I still read my fantasies, and those do involve sex scenes, of course, but um, I'm mindful, and I always go into the books um, with a different mindset, so um, yeah, I definitely want to include that prayer on my wall, for sure, um, just so that I can keep that at the forefront and make sure that it's there, um, so I'm going to be including the lust prayer definitely on my wall. Um, other prayers will most likely just be scriptural prayers, um, me praying scripture. I do have my prayer Bible, actually. Let me grab that Bible, if I remember where it is. Let me grab my Bible. Hold on. Um, here it is. I will have an update coming soon on my, my Bible collection because I've decided to give away three of my Bibles that um, I don't use. One of them I have used. One is a brand new Bible that I literally just received in the mail. And the other one I'm just never going to use because I don't need it. So I have three Bibles that I will be giving away. I'm debating if I want to give away two more Bibles from my collection, but we don't know. Um, but the Play the Scripture Bible... Um, I found out about this Bible from Cat Woods, and then I know, I think my sis, Angela, had picked it up. So those two ladies, I found out about it. But um, I got the King James Version. It came in the King James and the God's Word or something like that. Mine is the blue one, um, and it has the Our Father Scripture on it. This is a Bible that I use. This is like my book version of my prayer wall. And what I mean by that is um, I keep a key. I keep two keys. So I have a washi tape key. Because I use washi tape and then I have an actual highlighting key. And this Bible, just to show you guys, um, it's a regular Bible, one column, but every few scriptures there is something that you can pray concerning those scriptures or just points to remember. But what I do is, okay, so here I have a tab because I highlighted this. This is highlighted in other, um, and this is basically about um, the blessings of the children of Israel. Um, this one here I highlighted in yellow. And this is the, the Hannah song. So this one is for anything at adoring God. So adoration, which is praise and worship. Um, I have something in purple here, which is like key points for or key prayers. I have something here in blue. Blue is anything as far as like supplicating unto God. Um, and these are prayers just in the Bible. So, okay, so washi tape. So I have this washi tape here. This washi tape is for me. So anything with this one or this um, rose gold striped. Our personal prayers so what I was doing I was reading um, I forgot the name of the book I'll put the title on the screen but I was reading that book and as I was reading it I saw some prayers that I wrote out for myself so I wrote the prayers out stuck it here and then marked the scripture that it related to and then with this one this is from the original prayer wall that I had over there so I just stuck the prayers inside and then highlighted scriptures so um, I'm gonna be using utilizing this as well um, and then I have this book here. Actually, let me grab it. Let me grab the book. This is a morning and evening prayer book by Jenny and David Gosh Gushy. Gush I don't know how to pronounce it. There it is. Um, I got this from Thomas Nelson. And it's literally every day. There's a morning prayer and an evening prayer. And the prayers are written by different people. Um, different influential people that prayed. So you have Catholic prayers. You have some from Bernard. Bernard, Claire, Claire Boix, John, Jacob. I mean, these are people that I really don't know, but they're like older, you know, people from back back in the day. Um, so, it's really good. So, today is March. Um, today is not March. <laughs> today is February 26th, I think. So, um, Lent begins. Oh, Lent already started? I did not know that. When did Lent start? Well, in this book, it says February 15th is when Lent started. Didn't know that. Um, but yeah, so February 26th, it says Lent, and then it has a morning and a evening prayer. So the evening prayer is from the Book of Common Prayers, written in 1979. And then the morning prayer is from Glacian Sacramentary. I don't, I don't know, but, um... This is a book I'm debating if I want to keep or not. Um, some of the prayers in here are pretty good. But, um, yeah, so the morning prayer says, Grant, I beseech thee, O Lord, that by the observance of this Lent, I may advance in the knowledge of the mystery of Christ and show forth his mind and conduct worthy of my calling through Jesus Christ our Lord. And then the 
evening prayer says, O God, who for our redemption gave your only begotten Son to the death of the cross, and by his glorious resurrection delivered us from the power of our enemy, grant us to die daily to sin, that we may evermore live with him in the joy of his resurrection, who lives, reigns now and forever. Um, so, yeah. It's an interesting book. Um, like I said, I, this is a book I don't know if I'm personally going to really be keeping for myself. Just because um, it's a little, I don't know. It's not my usual type of thing. Um, and they do have some type of images throughout. But I'm going to keep this on hand. I don't think if, I'm, if, I'm, if I use anything else, I'll let you guys know. But um, yeah, we're going to now start writing. And then I'll show you guys me sticking them on the wall. So let's get into it. 